but but we have we, we have a giant um, custom designed tower with massive mechanical arms that will literally try to catch the booster and catch the ship. Um, which it sounds insane. I mean, I haven't even seen a sci-fi movie that does this, you know. Um, but in theory, it should work. It's, it, it work. Let's just say success is in the set of possible outcomes. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the probability is, but success is somewhere in that. Is, is success possible? Yes, I think it's possible. Um, in terms of catching it, I think. Um, well, well, for the on, for the ship side, we, we obviously want to make sure that it actually comes in fully intact and, and lands at a precise location in the Pacific before uh, we try to catch it uh, at, at the, the launch site, because we, 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 we're, we're taking every proportion we can uh, for uh, so that we do not risk uh, any, any human lives uh, or, or destruction of property. So uh, it'll be a few flights. So, so for the ship, it'll be when, when we see the ship landing at a precise position in the, in the water, uh, that's when we will uh, try to catch the ship with our Mechazilla on the tower. Uh, the booster, obviously, booster flights we've, we've done many times on Falcon 9, so we're much more familiar and have a much higher confidence uh, with booster recovery. Um, we, we've actually had the booster boost back to land and, and land at uh, Cape Canaveral Air Force Base um, many times, uh, it's all, all, albeit with landing legs, not with the Mechazilla arms. Um, so booster, I, 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 but it, it, I, I think I think that there's a decent chance, depending on when our licenses are granted, that we would catch the booster within the next uh, year or maybe less than a year, and, and then hopefully, uh, if, if we get lucky, we might catch the ship um, towards the end of next year. And where does the catch take place? Is it Willie Mays in the middle of the outfield over his shoulder, or is it Florida somewhere? Uh, no, it, so the, 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 both the booster and the ship come back to the launch site. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, that, that's what I mean by the, 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 this, this. In fact, um, I mean, the, the, the thing that, is, since, since we need a giant tower with customized uh, arms to lift the, the booster and the ship onto the launch pad, um, we don't absolutely need it. We can technically do it with, with, with humongous cranes on a low wind day. Um, uh, but that's it's quite unwieldy. Um, the, the, the tower with the arms is capable of lifting the booster and the ship even on, 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 a, on, on a very windy day, or moder moderately windy day. Um, so then it, it just seems to me that, well, if we can lift the, the, the ship and the booster, the, the ship onto the, onto the launch stand, or the, the booster onto the launch stand and the ship onto the booster with those same arms, we should be able to catch the, the, the booster and the ship with those same arms. Um, you know, we've, we've gotten pretty good with with um, with, with the thruster-based landing, um, and in fact, we, we can make the we, uh, we can make the the rocket hover in midair. Um, in fact, we were able to do that many years ago. If you look at the old uh, Falcon 9 test videos, uh, which we were called Grasshopper, where where we'd actually take the Falcon 9 booster and we'd have it just go up and, and hover at 100 meters and then translate over another 100 meters, then translate back and then come back and land. So we were able to do that really over a decade ago. Um, it, it's not obviously very efficient with propellant to have a rocket hover, but it can be done. Um, so that was, I was like, okay, well, let's just have the rocket come back and you know, hover briefly. Um, and have the, the, then the arms come together and, and, and catch it. So that's the, that's the general idea. Is, uh, going back to what I was saying, with, with, it's, not, it's not just reusability, it's, it's rapid reusability. Um, uh, and, and it doesn't get more rapid than bringing it back to the launch site. And so in principle, the, uh, the, the booster, the booster comes back very fast, by the way. One, one way or another, that booster is coming back to land, or it's, it's going to land fast, because um, with, with, with the high thrust to weight that we're, we're aiming for, which is sort of on the order of 1.3 to 1.4, the, the and, and, and a staging ratio, which <clears throat> is currently about uh, three to one in favor of the booster. So propellant to um, the propellant on booster to propellant on ship is about three to one on on the current version, but it's trending closer to two to one on uh, with, with future versions. Uh, it means that we're we're shifting more and more of the uh, delta v burden to the ship side. Um, that, that means the 
the booster actually uh, uses up its propellant quite quickly, um, and will will trend towards about a, only about a hundred seconds um, or so of a booster flight, um, and the booster will immediately flip around, boost back to the launch site, and land. And so it it really we're talking about the booster being back at the launch site in about four or five minutes, <laughs> which is pretty pretty wild to think. It's like five five. If, if, you know, a five-minute booster, basically. Um, it's, back, it's, 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 it's it's landed somehow, whether it's, it's either crashed or it's landed on the, it's been caught by the arms, one of the two. Um, and within five minutes. And so so, so then you then it lands back on the launch stand and uh, you can then refill propellant. The, the, the booster, the, the ship side, obviously, is going to take a minimum of an hour and a half to get around the planet. Um, still going pretty fast. Uh, but you go to circle the globe, um, and and obviously that, that depends on what uh, inclination and so what what's your launch azimuth, what's your inclination of the booster as to whether uh, it has a flight coming back over the launch site or not. If it, uh, it, 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 it so it's technically possible to do it in a single orbit, depending upon your um, launch uh, inclination. Very good. So, so booster. Come back in an hour and a half. Uh, a ship, ship, sorry, the ship could come back in about an hour and a half. Any uh, any prediction on when you're going to start deploying satellites uh, with Starship? Yeah, I, th I think we will start deploying. Um, I think there's a good chance we start deploying Starlink V3 satellites uh, next year, in roughly roughly a year from now. Um, because we, we we before we are comp confident that the ship. Like I said, the, the 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 hardest part about this, or the part that will take the longest, is the sh is is um, solving for ship safe ship reentry um, and landing. And but but before we solve that, we can launch the satellites because in any case with Falcon 9, um, the, the the upper stage is expendable. So. Uh, you know, it's it's actually fine to start start launching satellites even before we solve for for, for ship reusability. That 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 is the hardest part of the equation. So, with, with Falcon 9, we've we, we've gotten pretty far with reusability. Um, you know, the, the the booster, it's now highly unusual for the booster to not come back and land. It's it's so it's, it's gotten quite normal for the booster to come back and land. We now have a couple of boosters that are I've, I've done 17, I think 18 flights at this point. Um, and, um, and, and and then the fairing is also recovered, so the fairing reusability is also solid. Uh, but, but but the Falcon 9 design does not allow for a reusability of the upper stage. Um, so and and the Falcon 9 does it, it while reasonably rapid, if you especially if you've got a, a return to uh, launch site landing, still takes at least a few days to refurbish before you can fly it again. And so with with uh, with Starship, um, actually more profound than the size uh, is the fact that it is fully it is designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. Um, the, the reason for the absurd size is that we are trying to build something that is capable of uh, have, of creating a permanent base on the moon um, and a city on Mars. That's that's why it is so large. Otherwise, we could make it much smaller. Any predictions on when Starship might land on Mars without crew, maybe a crewed flight? Any uh, any prediction there? Well, hmm. I think three or four years. Four years. That would yeah, be... something like. All right. Um, I have to check with the Earth Mars. Uh, you know, Earth Mars. Uh, the you know. Um, Get have orbital synchronization about every 26 months, um, so you can't just go you fly to Mars when it's on the other side of the sun um, from Earth. Uh, that's uh, unwieldy. So the, roughly every 26 months, the orbits um, uh, are in the, the right relative position, um, and then you then you have the Mars transport window. Um, so I, I think you know, but I think it's sort of feasible within the next four years. Um, to do an, an uncrewed test test landing there, yeah.